Hello and welcome to a new The Walking Dead reaction. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the sixth episode from season 10 from The Walking Dead. I'm still sick and I can't think clearly but uh, what did we see last time? Well I do remember the Magna Yumiko scene from like somewhere around the end. Well because I love them. I also remember the stuff with Negan. Yeah, it was Negan. It was mostly about Negan. Negan got out and he was in the beginning with that guy, but he appeared to be very fucking annoying and he killed a harmless mother and her son. Uh, so then Negan killed him and then Negan was kind of back. He got, um, well, Lucille back. I, I, I believe it is fake Lucille though. And he got his jacket back and then he, in the end, he crossed the border from Alpha and... Uh, yeah, he was surrounded by whispers, so that's where it ended. And I'm not sure where this is headed, but I'm excited to find out. So uh, let's watch this episode. Why does almost every episode start with someone sleeping? I just get instantly happy when I see Daryl and Doc. Hi. Can you tell me what we're doing here? Right. Sure. Oh, I swore. We're gonna find it and we're gonna destroy it. That's Carol, as we know her. There's a tiny part of you that's thrilled to be sick. Just so you can spend more time with me. You think I'm puking because I have got a little crush? <laughs> that dude is so it's fucking so weird, weird, but I, I somehow um, love it. The heart pops. He somehow reminds me of Zahid from yeah, Atypical yeah. because that new season is out and I just watched that. And I somehow see a reference, you know? Why don't you stray from you before? To what happened at the border with Alpha, I didn't want you to worry. Well, I get so Carol. Everyone's so <clears throat> determined to do what Alpha says, and which I get, but I'm quite sure they would try to stop her. Maybe even Daryl, honestly. Well, ladies, it's kind of hard to tell them to read the outfits. In age of paleo vibe, you are a survivalist wet dream, not to mention the number one selling point. Yeah, I get what Carol means with Negan keeping his mouth shut. That, that's hard for him. Okay, I'm coughing so much I can't even pay attention to this. Um, yes, were you looking for someone in particular? No, Damas, I'm okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Are you coming back in time? And it is mighty good to hear your voice. I should get back into bed anyway. Do you want me to call you this afternoon? Radio wave sign of soil? Um, yes. Yes, yes, they are. So now she misses him. They're good luck. Maybe it will help your aim. They're funny. Uh, keep it. You should watch your own throws out. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Can I find you? Uh. What? You see things. You sure? Much less good move like her. Yeah, I know. Well, why not? I don't stink. You're getting better already. It's a whisper. Yes, it's a finally time. For the base to become the apple. Many a fine man over the years. Myself, Negan, what the hell? 
Just actually never done the deed myself. Not that whole bottle head thing that just tightens my bridges. <laughs> He's just oh, there to make no. fun of them. Did you find what you were looking for? <coughs> Uh, this is so messed up because I'm following the episode, but I'm coughing so much that I'm just unable to react to it. As in, every time I want to say something, I just can't. Oh, I thought they were going to buy it. <laughs> Negan is actually just there to like make fun of everything they do, and it's actually just what everyone's thinking. Oh, this is his test. Still want to join them? It always hurts me when they like kill an animal, but it's not that yet. Like when it has an arrow in him, and then he's suffering. Like just kill him, okay? They're actually going to do this. I'm scared, but I hope they can do this. Whatever they're going to do. For my new family. I help kill and cook the damn pig. Come on, man. Alright? At the very least, I deserve a piece of bacon. What did he say, boss? He just wants him gone. But Negan is not gonna let him. Hey, that's nice. Aww. He's still sitting there. What's this? New people? Oh, it's always so creepy. When they're whispering like that. Dubious as it may seem, I know Strasburg goods of any well. The locomotives were my jam. Marvelous batch of black raspberry ice cream. The inside scoop? I went there all the time. So you and I might have been there on the same day. Guess in, in this case that will be the only thing that works. The rules were not killing walkers because then they find out, of course. So this might be the smartest thing to do. Ooh, it's creepy. This is like spying on the enemy, but like next level. I appreciate your help. You should. I'm kind of amazing. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Oh are not giant. He just keeps no, talking. I will be joining this team, so then we should find a way to get along, you know. Do you remember what happened with Lydia? That went really wrong. What's this? She did plan it. What if I were to share specifics? Who's to say I'm not to you? Yeah, you should be more careful. 
My given name is Eugene Irvin Porter, and I propose we continue these combos on the rig with the hopes of building more. Should that be with your approval and or interest, of course. She's gone. Poor Eugene. Hello, Aww. They're in agreement, then. We are. But... He was weak. You must serve us better as one of the dead. I'm ready for my goddamn skin suit. Oh, bring that fuck. Long tape measure on account of my humongous balls. Perceives me or not. I'm all in. You oh, want? he's kneeling now. Oh my God. But he's still the most badass person in the room. Negan passed the test, I guess. Bina was so determined to get rid of him, and then Negan just came came in like a badass, like pretty much always. Oh, now I'm really looking forward to see Negan with them. Even though I don't understand why anyone would want to join them, because it's, I don't know, it's not a way I'd want to live. But I get that Negan, well, he has been, like you said, he has been locked up for eight years by the enemy. I mean, I'm not sure if I'd rather be locked up and sometimes plucking tomatoes or that I would uh, rather be walking with the whisperers. It feels like, for me, walking with the whisperers also feels like some kind of prison, honestly. I mean, of course, you have Alpha, Bida, and well, they're quite cruel leaders. I mean, if you do one thing wrong or you say something wrong, you kind of get instantly killed. So. To me, that would also like be living in constant fear. Just like, I don't know. I don't know what I'd, I'd rather want. But I get that after eight years being in a prison, you'd want something else. So um, Negan really wants to join them, apparently. I really didn't know that was his plan because, like I already said, he just went there and he was just making fun of everything they did. Even though we all think it, they're being so mysterious about many things and they're talking in this uh, weird way they're behaving in this weird way and it's just their way of life but let's be real before this they were all people and they were maybe just like like the rest and then suddenly they're like those those crazy people who live in the forest dress up like walkers and do that crazy shit it's like they're doing this crazy rituals it's like a crazy cult more yeah, that's kind of how I see it. So it was kind of funny to me that, that there was finally someone who was just uh, there with them and who was actually telling how crazy the shit they were doing is. And of course, Negan is very straightforward, maybe a bit too much. But I thought that was really funny because someone is finally being like, why does everyone accept this shit? This, this is weird as fuck. But it was it was nice to see the, the kind of progress or the, the test he was doing to be approved and I just really liked how he came in like that at the end as a total badass with that wooden thing like uh, they took Lucille from him so he just grabbed a tree and beat the walkers to that with it very nice for the rest uh, yeah everyone's getting sick just like me oh the thing with Daryl and Carol of course uh, at first I, I really like how I mean I kind of ship Daryl and Carol but I like I already explained once, I see them more as friends. Like, most people see them more as friends because it has been like that since the beginning. And uh, I just see them as such good friends and that really warms my heart. So it was kind of nice when she was like, uh, and with Connie, and then she started to ask him a bit about that. Like, she's such a best friend. I really like that, but then Carol's plan didn't appear to be what... what she said it would be well she actually didn't say anything well daryl knows how dangerous it is what she's doing and i don't think he's completely against her plan against what she's doing but he knows it's dangerous and he knows about the things that happened and i think he just wants to protect her and protect the people because if she's really going down with this shit, i mean remember what happened when they took lydia i mean 
this is kind of the same thing. If they're taking another one of them, they're... Well, I wanted to say they're starting a war again, but Alpha is really the one who's constantly doing shit to like hurt them and to tire them out. But Alpha kind of thinks she's right. And I don't think Alpha could ever see that she's the one who is wrong. But if they do one thing, it's gonna piss her off so much. So that's why Carol needs to be more careful. But I guess this was her plan all along. So yeah, for the rest, I don't think I have a lot to say. I think that was mostly what I had to say about this episode. Uh, so that you like my reaction, then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I hope to see you next week. Bye!